Congratulations, Miami Dolphins fans. You've officially reached the pinnacle of fandom. Peter Schrager mock draft make Dolphins fans react impatiently. Miami Dolphins CB Byron Jones trust in Tua Tungavailoa in second years. NFL Network analyst proved Tua as Steve Young. Please subscribe. Peter Schrager of GMF Prediction make Dolphins fans react impatiently. NFL Network and Good Morning Football personality Peter Schrager released a mock draft earlier this week. A mock that saw the Miami Dolphins draft a bit of a surprise at number 6 overall. With several prominent pass catchers still on the board, Schrager's mock saw the Dolphins draft Northwestern offensive tackle Rashawn Slater, an off-the-wall angle that left many Dolphins fans eager to give Schrager a piece of their mind. And today, Schrager took the stage on Good Morning Football and credited the Dolphins for their, well, impassioned response. I have never gotten responses like I got from Dolphins fans yesterday, said Schrager. I'm not saying from, from any fan base. If we're being honest the critiques, at least the tasteful ones, were well deserved. Slater, as this draft's second-rated offensive tackle, would be an incredibly redundant selection amid the team's 2020 investments at tackle. tackle. You could at least build a potential argument for offensive tackle Penny Sewell as the draft's best available player if he fell to the number 6 overall pick, but Miami trading back up from number 12 to number 6 in order to take their third offensive tackle in the top 40 of the last two NFL drafts would be incredibly wasteful. The decision would be even more egregious given the presence of both Kyle Pitts and Sewell remaining on the board in Schrager's scenario. One thing you can bet on for Dolphins fans? If they don't like your picks, they'll let you hear it. Schrager just happened to find out the hard way this week. Miami Dolphins CB Byron Jones said in Good Morning Football that he trust in Tua Tungavailoa in second year. As the Miami Dolphins complete their transition to make this team, Tua Tungavailoa's team, there will be plenty of attention paid to how the other members of the organization process, embrace and welcome those changes. One of the quiet leaders of the Miami Dolphins, cornerback Byron Jones, joined NFL Network's Good Morning Football programming this week and spoke about the Dolphins, their rebuilding effort and how the team is putting a team together the right way, and, most notably the transition to Tua Tungavailoa serving as the unquestioned starting quarterback for the team in 2021. Here's what Jones specifically had to say about Tungavailoa and his emergence as the starting quarterback. It's exciting. This team is comprised of a bunch of young guys. Obviously, Tungavailo is going into his second year. What we saw last year was great from him but we expect a big jump. The kid's been The kid's been working, I know he's been working. He's been a great kid. Really good head on his shoulders. And that's the beauty of it, said Jones. We're surrounded by a bunch of good guys who want to be great again. So I'm looking forward to seeing his jump. His contributions to the team have been great so far, but we're looking for even something better this year. It's exciting. I can't wait to see him work his magic. Indeed, that will be one of the unique challenges for Tunga Vailoa, getting his physical abilities and advantages over former Dolphins QB Ryan Fitzpatrick to shine by mastering the mental side of the game. It's been great to see Tunga Vailoa in the weight room and throwing to Dolphins receivers all offseason but the mental side of the game figures to offer an equal growth opportunity for the former Crimson Tide quarterback. How well he can process those dynamics will go a long way in determining if he's going to meet the expectations laid out for him by Byron Jones, the Dolphins organization, fans and, most importantly, self in 2021. NFL Network Analyst Tua as Steve Young NFL Network analyst and former first overall NFL draft pick David Carr appeared on NFL Total Access on Friday. During the appearance, he was asked about the Miami Dolphins and their future with quarterback Tua Tungavailoa. He heaped the praise on Miami's second-year quarterback, who he believes will turn into Steve Young as he continues to grow in the league. I just think back to when I went from my rookie year to my second year and how much more comfortable I felt, Carr began. So Tua is going to be in the same situation, as all young quarterbacks are. I thought he played really well. And when you look at the film, you see similarities, and you see why people get excited and why the Miami Dolphins are excited. He looks like Steve Young. I mean, that's the guy he is going to turn into. It's just going to take a little time. The clip, which you can watch below, 
then included several plays from both Tungavailoa and Young as Carr demonstrator demonstrated some of the similarities between the two players. You've got boot action, you move him out of the pocket, he sees everything very well, Carr continued. He gets through his first two progressions. He has the over root right in front of him, makes a nice throw over four or five defenders, keeps it low to protect his football player, and again, it looks just like Steve Young. He's the same type of player. Tunga Vailoa appeared in 10 games for Miami, starting the final nine contests of the season. He trhew for 1,814 yards on a 64.1% completion rate with 11 touchdowns and 5 interceptions, giving him an 87.1 passer rating as a rookie. In his rookie season, Young threw for 935 yards on a 52.2% completion rate with 3 touchdowns and 8 interceptions, giving him a 56.9 passer rating in 5 games played with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Young started 14 games for the Buccaneers for 2,282 yards with 8 touchdowns and 13 interceptions with a 53.7% completion rate, giving him a 65.5 passer rating. The Buccaneers, who finished 3-16 in games started by Young, decided he was a bust after two years, drafted Vinny Testaverde and shipped Young to San Francisco, where he served as the backup to Joe Montana. Young assumed the top spot in the depth chart in 1991, which Montana was injured, and over the final nine years of his career, he was a seven-time Pro Bowl selection, a three-time first-team All-Pro selection, a three-time second-team All-Pro selection, a two-time NFC Offensive Player of the Year, a one-time NFL Offensive Player of the Year, a four-time NFL passing touchdown leader, a six-time NFL passer rating leader, a five-time NFL completion percentage leader, a Super Bowl MVP, and a two-team NFL MVP. It took Steve Young a while took Steve Young a while to morph and kind of grow into that all-pro, MVP-type player, Carr stressed. But Tua has the same type ability as Steve. I know they are left-handed, but that is not where the similarities stop. Returning to the film breakdown, Carr explained, This is one of the best plays I saw all year. Tua. Slides away from this outbreaking route, had pressure in his face. People also say, Oh, he's undersized, maybe he can't see down the field. That's crazy. This is a fantastic play. Steve Young, undersized guy, the same thing. Pressure in his face, but he understood space, he understood where to move, and Tua has this same ability, to slide over. And this is actually an easier throw than the one Tua made by a Hall of Fame player. Young finished his career with a 64.3% completion rate, 232 touchdowns, 107 interceptions, and a 96.8 passer rating. He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2005. Young also ran for 4,239 yards with 43 touchdowns in his career. Tunga Vailoa ran for 109 yards. Loa ran for 109 yards with three touchdowns last year. This last one is a lot of Steve Young. Watch him move in the pocket, buying time, keeping plays alive with his feet. He's not just a consistent, accurate passer from the pocket. He can get you yards on the ground as well. I think the biggest thing for Tua is let's just have some patience. The Miami Dolphins clearly have patience. They didn't go out and get another quarterback. Sure, there were talks about maybe getting another one, but where did those talks really come from? I think they love the fact that they have Tua. I think he is going to be a great quarterback. I think he learned a lot from Ryan Fitzpatrick. And he is just going to take that next jump and help this team get to the playoffs. Asked if the Dolphins will reap the benefits now for playing Tunga Vailoa last year, Carr replied, Yeah, I think so. It was honestly, for me, being in those quarterback rooms, that could go in a bad direction. That was a brilliant by the staff, by everyone involved, and you even have to give Ryan and Tua some credit there. Just the way they managed the entire year with both those guys playing. You could tell they are high character guys. I am super excited to watch, Tua. Now as this team becomes his team going forward. If Tunga Vailoa comes anywhere near the career of Young, the Dolphins have themselves a special quarterback. Carr seems to believe that is exactly what to expect to see over the remainder of Tunga Vailoa's time in Miami.